Hello, I'm John Graham. The world has changed quite a bit over the past three years. We continue to see the effects of the war in Ukraine, geopolitical tensions, high inflation and rising interest rates. It's been especially challenging in the financial markets, and we know many Canadians are feeling it too. One thing that hasn't changed is the resilience and strength of the CPP fund. We're producing solid results thanks to our prudent investment strategy designed to create value for generations. As active managers, we seek the best investment opportunities wherever they are to ensure continued growth over the long term. In a world where investment philosophies can veer from one quarter to the next, our highly experienced investors are trained to look ahead and to be patient. Every three years, the Chief Actuary of Canada conducts a financial review of the CPP to evaluate its financial sustainability. This year, the latest review concluded existing benefit levels are sustainable at current contribution rates for at least the next 75 years. Canadians can rest assured we will be there to support the CPP through thick and thin. Let's take a look at how the CPP fund performed this year. At CPP Investments, we're focused on helping to pay pensions for multiple generations. That's why we're proud to share we've achieved a 10-year annualized net return of 10%. This year, the CPP fund grew by $31 billion to reach $570 billion in net assets, earning a 1.3% return after all expenses. And we've made these gains despite a significant decline in global equity and fixed income markets. Our active management strategy, with diverse investments across continents and asset classes, has enabled us to outperform most major indexes. This past year, we heard directly from Canadians at public meetings held coast to coast. Many of you told us how sustainability is top of mind, and we agree, considering sustainability is important to maximizing long-term investment value. Last year, we committed our portfolio and operations to net zero by 2050 and we're making solid progress towards this goal. In this fiscal year, we achieved carbon neutrality in our global operations. As active investors, we're using our size and scale to drive real change and ultimately generate strong returns. Here's a quick look at some of our recent investments. Era Energy is California's second largest oil and gas producer, accounting for nearly a quarter of the state's production. We're looking to pursue strong investment returns by helping ERA balance its energy transition efforts with the need to continue meeting California's energy demands by investing in renewable energy to power existing operations. We also made our first direct private equity investment in Colombia with D1, a rapidly growing discount grocery chain. D1 is a market leader in Latin America's expanding retail space, offering private label products at affordable prices and we were pleased to establish a new joint venture in the European hospitality sector by acquiring operating hotels and popular destinations to capitalize on growing tourism trends. Our first acquisition in this venture was the W Rome Hotel in Italy. None of this is possible without our people. It's truly inspiring to see firsthand the important work they are doing, representing our guiding principles of integrity, partnership, and high performance. We are all proud to be dedicated to growing the fund for the benefit of all Canadians. Looking ahead, we expect market volatility to continue. Returns may be lower than in past years, but we will navigate through in the face of wide-ranging market and economic conditions. We were built for times like this. It's through challenging economic cycles that active managers like CPP Investments perform well. Canadians can have confidence the CPP fund will remain strong and resilient and will be there for decades to come. Thank you.